This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I am an entertainer. The one, the only eight faller, relax it on the recliner. And I'm going to tell you another bad experience at a restaurant that I had. This one here in the Jersey Shore. Wow! Okay, so there's a famous pizzeria or Italian restaurant, Danitos. Now, you know, it's a great place. I mean, listen, they got uh, delicious, delicious pizza. You know, uh, I used to get what's called the, uh, the what is it? The uh, meatball and the onion pizza. Where we got the, the Moors. It was called the Moors. I've actually made videos in the past on uh, Danito. So, I mean, the food is great, but I had one particular bad experience there. It's funny, now they're closed down. Makes you kind of wonder, though, a little bit. They actually closed down. <laughs> the one that I used to go to. What was it? In Stafford, right? Yeah. Stafford, New Jersey, Danito's. Now, it comes from Staten Island. It, it's originally from Staten Island, New York. They're very famous, you know, for their brick oven pizza. They, they make all kinds of specialty pizzas. My favorite, again, is the Moors. Um, you know, you know, meatball and the onions and the regatta, baby. Great, great pizza. So I love this place. You know, I've been going there. I lived in Staten Island. I went there in Staten Island. I, I mean, when I moved to New Jersey, I go to Jersey. I, I never had a problem. Only this one particular time where I brought the whole family out. <laughs> I brought everybody out, everybody. I brought my uh, my wife's father, um, his companion, Jennifer's mother, God bless her. She was one of a kind, Linda. She passed away. God bless her. So uh, we brought, you know, Jennifer's father, his uh, companion. We brought the kids. We brought the whole family, everybody. It was a big a big party. So uh, we're eating. You know, everything's good. The appetizers were fine. We had, you know, you know, little uh, mozzarella, a little, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the peppers, the uh, tomatoes. We had the uh, cold antipasta. Perfect. No problem. Okay. So I ordered a tortellini soup. All right, my son ordered a tortellini soup, my daughter and my wife, I think she had the escarot soup. We all ordered soups. Everybody ordered. Her father ordered a soup, the companion, her, you know, his companion ordered a soup, everybody. So I'm about to eat my soup. You see, once again, I have I have like that eye. You know the eye where you can see things, you see that little bug in there? But this one wasn't a little bug. <laughs> it's like this one, it looked like a beetle or something. It was crazy. It was like this big bug, like with wings as a freaking disgusting you know so my wife you know at, well at first listen just just to give it a little credit you know it was buried in the soup you know it was like because i got the you know there was tortellinis around it you know what i mean so she said she's maybe it's oregano she says that's what she tells me my wife she's like it's oregano i'm like honey i don't think oregano has wings right oregano now just again to give her a little credit there's a couple of tortellinis that were covering it. She didn't get, like, she didn't really get a full vision of, of, of that thing. So when I removed the uh, couple of tortellinis, I put it on the spoon and I showed her. She goes, that's not oregano. <laughs> she goes, that is, that is a bug, a very large insect. It was disgusting, man. So the manager comes over. Now, here's the difference between this place and Mezcal. The, the, the last video, the Mexican restaurant. Remember I told you there was a yellow jack in my water? Okay, he, and, and they did nothing about it. This was at Mezcal. At Danito's, the manager looked at the bug. He says, excuse me, sir, can I please speak to you in private? I said, absolutely. I get up, you know, he just takes me on the side. He goes, I just wanted you to know how sorry I am about this. He says, the whole dinner is on me. So, and, and you have to understand, it was like a party of like seven or eight people. It was a, you're talking, it was like a, Jennifer, how much? Probably like four or $500 dinner. I mean, it was a big, you're talking to a lot of people there. Like, it's a, it's a $300 dinner, just me, my wife, and my kids. Now you got to add another, you know, four or five people. It was, it was at least $400 a dinner. So he picked the whole thing up. So just for that reason alone, I, I you know, I told him, I said, you're a gentleman. I shook his hand. I, I don't have a bad word to say about the place. He did, he did the, the right thing and, you know, God bless. But that was a nasty, damn, hairy bug. That was in my soup. And that, honestly, it kind of got me sick, if you really want me to be honest with you. I have, see, one thing about me, I, I, I have a weak stomach, you know? Like, things like that, I can't, I, I just, you know, I'll, I'll tell you the truth, I didn't eat anymore after that. <laughs>
<laughs> I told Jennifer's father. <laughs> now, you don't know. He shot that guy. I said, take all the food. It's all yours. I just, I get all the food. He's like, yeah, yeah. I said, take it home. I said, I, said, yeah, I told him, I got, I got plenty of food at my house. And he knows. Everyone in Jennifer's family, everyone in my family, all of my friends, everyone who knows me knows food is like not an issue. Like it got to a point, like when I was a young kid, like, you know, I mean, really young. I'm talking like 10, 11 years old. I've been going out to eat. I know you're not going to believe this. You're going to laugh at me. But I've been going out to eat probably since I'm 12 years old on my own. Because what I used to do is, uh, I really should save this for another video, but I'll, I'll just tell you. I used to teach piano lessons at a very young age. Like seriously, like 12 or 13. That's how good I was at the piano. I was teaching people. I was teaching kids at like 12 or 13, right? So I used to make... You'd be surprised. I used to make a good three, four hundred dollars a week because I would teach sometimes fifteen students a week, and each student was paying me thirty dollars an hour. So I, you know, I could make anywhere between three hundred, three forty, whatever it was. I, I made, I made a decent amount of money for a kid. Listen, for a kid who's what twelve years old, thirteen years old, it's a lot of money. Three hundred forty dollars. So I used to go to two restaurants in Brooklyn when I was that. So even when I was twelve, thirteen, the first restaurant I, I went to was Vitali's. It was on um. McDonald Avenue and right 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 off uh, 18th Avenue, you turn on McDonald uh, Avenue in Brooklyn. It was a uh, Vitali. Now this this place went out of business because honestly, I'm not surprised they went out of business. Their dinners were so delicious, but they were so cheap. I don't think the guy was making any money. He had he had two two choices that he gave you for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. You had a full dinner. You had a salad. You had a soup. You had a pasta. It was like unbelievable. Nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Okay. So you had a uh, salad, soup, and an entree. They give you like a soda too for free. You know, unlimited sodas. Or for 19, now here's the, this is the king package. 1999, you get the salad, soup, pasta, but now he throws in wine, soda, and you get a dessert. And you get a cappuccino or an espresso. That was 1999. I, I couldn't believe, I used to go there, I was like, this is great. You know what I mean? I spent twenty dollars. I go, I give him a twenty dollar tip. I was always a nice guy. So I would spend forty dollars. I ate like a king. So even then, when I was twelve years old, <laughs> then I used to go to Chef Wong. If you know in Brooklyn, they're closed down now. But this was off of a uh, Bay Parkway in Brooklyn. They loved being there. Same same deal. They had like a same kind of thing. I used to get the thing. It was called the poo poo platter. It's funny the poo poo platter. <laughs> no, it was like this platter, right? What they do? They gave you the uh, the Chinese meatball. It was dim, dim sum, dim sum. The Chinese meatball, they gave you the barbecue spare ribs. They had this chicken that was wrapped up in aluminum foil. And then, then they had shrimp. And I believe it was chicken, like uh, some sort of a chicken they gave you, like an addition. And then on the top, what was like a fire, like 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 a Hawaii type of thing. Like on the top of the platter, they, 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 they lit it on fire. And they gave you these sticks that had like uh, uh, pineapples and you used to roast the pineapples right and eat. It was delicious. I loved it. So once again, I went there, I would spend 20, 40 bucks. That's it. So I was eating great even at 12 years old. But anyway, so that's the full story. Uh, Danito's bad experience with the beetle and, <laughs> and uh, how the ape father was eating like a kid at 12.